Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 10 of the FIFA 21 My Player Career and of course we are controlling Jack Grealish. We are halfway through the season, as you can see halfway through January as well, so the transfer window is open. We're not going to um, request a transfer move away from Aston Villa, we're only here for this season. Uh, so really there's no point, even though it would have been interesting to see if Manchester City came in for an offer for uh, Jack. But we're going to stay here with Aston Villa, we may as well. Uh, and then of course if we do start another My Player career on FIFA 22 with Jack Grealish, it will be with City. So we'll have to wait and see what we do when FIFA 22 is released. Usually, as a lot of you already know, uh, we do create our own player for the My Player series, especially to kick off the new FIFA release. Uh, but we'll see what we'll do this year. It might be a little bit different. Might go with a, a real-life player or, yet again, we may just go ahead and create our own. Uh, we could also do an actual manager career mode or something on the cards as well, especially with the new manager career additions, especially with the... Uh, the new stadium additions would be interesting to see if we can do any of those if we are only controlling the one player. Uh, but let's concentrate on this one. This is our farewell series for FIFA 21, as a lot of you already know. Uh, and we're not doing too bad here at Aston Villa. I was hoping to be doing a lot better, challenging for the Premier League title. Uh, but I think that's going to be out of our reach. That's a great cross and a fantastic header. Aston Villa, they take the lead. One goal to know it is Ross Barkley who breaks a deadlock here for the home team and hopefully that's going to give us the step towards a victory here against West Ham United. A cracking cross from Jack, another assist from him on the outside of his right boot actually that one came in from and then there was Ross Barkley at the far post to head it in for his second Premier League goal of the season. So approaching half time, still in front by that single goal, Jack Grealish has picked up a yellow card so he has got to be careful for the rest of the game, the next 50 minutes that is of course, as he's trying to challenge it. He's got to be careful, as I said, if he, he puts in too much of a harsh challenge, he could see himself being sent off. But thankfully, um, it didn't go to that. And what is the goalkeeper doing? He gives the ball away here and maybe Aston Villa can get themselves a second goal before the break. Cross comes in towards Jack, but the defender was there first, but they've given it away. Here is Grealish, shoots, but the defender was quickest to it. Aston Villa still looking dangerous, and Jack Grealish just heads wide of the West Ham United. Goal unlucky from him, couldn't just direct it properly. Actually hit the, the right side of his face there, I think. But an 8.4 match rating for Jack going into the second half. Hopefully we can improve on that in the second period, but as you can see so far, it's gone down actually to an 8.2 as we approach the hour mark. And it is West Ham United. We're in possession. But Jack has given away a free kick. He's living dangerously right now. Currently on a yellow card. Has given away another free kick. Morgan Sampson going off. Or is he coming on? Sampson, I think, came on. And it was Douglas Louise who came on in his place. Another challenge going forward then here for Aston Villa. Can we get ourselves another goal? Come on, boys. Let's get ourselves a little bit more creative. 8.0 now for Jack. Cross needs to come in, which it does. And headed into the back of the net. Luis Suarez it is for Aston Villa. Doubling our lead. And surely that will be the three points now for the home team. 25 minutes remaining on the clock. Do West Ham have anything in them um, to get themselves back into this game? But what a cracking cross and a beautiful little header there. There was a defender and the goalkeeper, but somehow Louis Javier Suarez, he was there to nod it in, pass both of those and into the back of the net then to give us a two goal lead. So into the final minute we had then 8.4 match rating for Jack Gross. So thankfully he has gone back up in the last half an hour or so. He's actually on an 8.5 right now. I think that's the highest he's been so far in this game. Uh, Ollie Watkins unable to get a goal today, but it doesn't really matter as long as Aston Villa are getting the victories. That is the important thing, as, of course, we do push towards the challenge for the top four places. Uh, but there blows the final whistle then in the first game of today's episode. I think we have four games to cover in today's episode, so hopefully that is going to be the first of four victories. But, obviously... 
it isn't always as easy as it sounds. Currently 6th place in the league. Next up for Aston Villa is a home game taking on Leicester City who are just ahead of us in the Premier League as you can see. 1 point on 42, we are down in 41 points. So win here and we will be going above our Midlands rivals. So let's see how we get on. Let's try and get Jack a goal if possible. A nice early goal would always be nice as well. We don't concede many goals when we are con um, controlling just the one player. So getting a goal in the first half would pretty much guarantee us the win. Uh, but let's see. Let's try and get Jack in on the action. Good inception there by Leicester. And it's actually the Foxes who are pushing forward for the early goal. Good inception though by John McGinn. Jack Graliso gives the ball away. Not what we want in the early stages of this game. Here is Ndidi. Good solid midfield player of course. It'll be tough to get past throughout this game. And so too hopefully will the Aston Villa defence. Defending well so far. And that one's played through. Madison loses it. And now McGinn gets that ball forward. But too much on it. And Leicester do have the ball back. So... Not the best of starts for Aston Villa, although we did defend well. 7.4 match rating for Jack as he just wanders more centrally right now. Just trying to get Aston Villa in on this game. Not really done much so far, if I'm totally honest. It's been all Leicester City, and it is Leicester right now, who are trying to get themselves through the back line of the Villa defence. Here is Jack though. Good touch from him. Plays that ball forward. Maybe the chance is on here. John McGinn needs to get there, which he does. Lays that one forward for Watkins. Gives it back to him again. Don't know why he did that. The possible shot was on there by Watkins. But Jack Grace, he has an effort just outside the Leicester box. Forces a save from the Leicester goalkeeper. Was it going in? Possibly going in there from Jack, but Schmeichel was there to keep it out. And I think that was flying into the top corner. So good effort there from Jack, uh, but a better save. Come on, lads. Not it across the middle. Oh, he's giving it to Jack Grealish. needs to cross, which he does. And headed away by Leicester City. And that is probably going to be the last action of the first half. Or is it? Villa have themselves a throw. Jack Grealish lays that one forward. Conza back heel finds Grealish good back heel there from Conza. Somebody needs to get in space back heel there from Ross Barkley. Didn't work out for him, but Villa do have possession, and Jack went for the effort. But unfortunately, the Leicester City defender in the right place at the right time. And this one, although there's been plenty of chances in the first half, still no goal to speak of. And right now it is Leicester City in possession, working it out from the back, trying to get themselves forward. If they can. An 8.4 match rating for Jack Grealish. As Madison picks up that ball. And this is good attacking play here from Leicester. Prayet forward. Still Leicester looking to break the deadlock. And they've done so. And it is Madison. I've actually got Madison in my Aston Villa team on Football Manager 2021. He's been absolutely fantastic for me. And there he is scoring a great goal for the away team. Giving them the lead then. I wouldn't say it's against the runner play either. Leicester have been really, really good so far in this game. Just took a while to find the back of the net. But there you go. James Madison scoring his fifth Premier League goal of the season. And now time is running out for Aston Villa. We've got just over a minute remaining. Whatever is going to be added on in injury time as well as Gross tries to play that one through. Not sure what he was thinking of doing there. Uh, defender pretty much had it all wrapped up. Yeah, well, I think that's going to be the final seconds of this game. And Villa are going to be heading to a home defeat. Not the result that we wanted. Especially after getting the three points earlier against West Ham United. Two goals to nil. And uh, Leicester just going to be holding on to the ball here. Wasting the time. As you can see, we've already played an extra three minutes of the original two. Which were awarded. And finally, the final whistle does blow. So, Aston Villa... They head to a defeat. One goal to nil. Good positional play there from Leicester. They just wrapped us up completely, didn't they? Uh, well, there you go. Let's head into some domestic action in the Cups. And Aston Villa at home yet again. This time taking on Preston. Got to be the big favourites going into this one. Even though we do take a defeat into this game. Let's see if we can turn it around and get ourselves a win against Preston North End. As I said, got to be the big favourites, but anything can happen. It is the FA Cup after all. 
Uh, but hopefully we can get ourselves a pretty convincing performance and a few goals to bag as well. Well, right now, as you can see, it is Preston with the early possession. Good interception there by El Hamadi, I believe it was. And now John again, forward to Jack Grellis. Is the attack on? Oh, we're going to get ourselves an early goal. Oh, poor ball there from Grelish, and even the look doesn't go our way either. So good defensive word there from Preston North End. And are they going to go on the attack themselves? Player to watch in the top left there, Jack Grelish, of course. He is one of the main men here at Villa. Needs to get a few more goals, though, if I'm totally honest. He's doing well with the assist for his teammates. A few more goals for him would be nice, and maybe a few more goals would help us. Um, challenge for the top four places in the Premier League. Well, just over 10 minutes played, still 0 0 as Ollie Watkins tries to find Grelish, but a little bit too much on that, and it does find its way into the hands of the away keeper. So, 0 0 here at Villa Park. Let's push on into the final 10 minutes of the first period, and it is Preston North End right now who are having mo the majority of the game. I think they've had most possession as well, and they're trying to break their way through the middle of the park. Well, good. Work from the Aston Villa midfield. Rams are there, forward for Grelish. He's going to charge through, waiting for the run of Ollie Watkins. Finds Watkins, nice little one-two there between the pair. And Watkins shoots. The goalkeeper, Rudd, gets down low, makes the save. And Ollie Watkins knows he should have done better. Uh, but it doesn't matter because he was offside as that ball was played through. So even if it did find the back of net, it would have been ruled out, would have counted, and it would have been 0-0 going into the break. And as you can see, it looks like we're going to be ending this goal 0-0 after a little bit of excitement going into this one, hoping there'll be a lot of goals and obviously a win. It's been very, very tight for both teams, and it looks like it's going to be ending goalless, which I believe will take us into a replay, being the FA Cup, of course. If it was the Carabao Cup, it would be straight to a penalty shootout. But I believe because it is the FA Cup, we will be heading to a FA Cup replay, which will take us all oh, off the woodwork. We was almost about to scratch that replay. It just bounced off the woodwork and out of bounds. Well, I say out of bounds, out of um, any goal um, attempt there for Aston Villa but very very close there to stealing it late on so it is going to take us to an FA Cup replay uh, but next up and to end today's episode is going to be an away game taking on Chelsea this I believe will also end the transfer window so we could possibly get that ended in today's episode as well as I said we're not looking for a move away but it would still be interesting to see if there's going to be any transfer dealings, especially incomings for Aston Villa going into the last latter stages of the Premier League fixtures. Uh, well, let's see what we can do here. Not in the best of forms right now. We lost, we've drawn, and we're hoping to pick that back up here against Chelsea, which, as I said, and watch what everybody expects, it's not going to be easy at all. I'm sure they are already up there challenging for the Premier League title, no doubt. Yeah, as that one gets headed clear, but the chance is still on it. On here is N'Golo Kante plays that one through, and Timo Werner is there to break the deadlock here at Stamford Bridge and to give Chelsea the one goal lead at that near post. Goalkeeper probably expected to do better there, uh, but N'Golo Kante did well. We don't even see the full replay. That shows you how unhappy we were conceding this goal. 17 Premier League goals, though, for Werner so far this season. Absolutely fantastic season from him. Uh, much better than in real life, of course. And let's see if we can get ourselves back into this game. We are heading into the final few seconds here at Stamford Bridge in the first half. The goal scorer, Timo Werner, laying that one forward for Chilwell. He needs to get the cross in. He doesn't. He gives it back to Werner. And Golo Kante trying to find some space. Is Chilwell going to cross this one in? Werner again picks up that ball on the edge of the area. Oh, look at that ball. Beautifully played through. I think that was Kai Havertz who just lays that one through for Pulisic, who duels Chelsea's lead, and I think that is going to be game over. No, it's Gigino who assisted that goal there. Fantastic through ball, absolutely splitting the Aston Villa defence. Look at this ball through here. Look at that. Four defenders it goes in between, and a nice finish there from Christian Pulisic, who scores his ninth Premier League goal of the season. And we have less than half an hour remaining, and it has been... 
an absolute masterclass here from um, Chelsea. Aston Villa not really done anything to answer at all. Jack Gray's not been able to get himself in on the game. He's only on a 7.7 match rating. So obviously it could have been worse. Uh, I guess it just shows you the class that Chelsea have in their ranks right now. That even though the Jack Gross had a fairly decent game, Chelsea have just run as ragged. Leading by two goals, nil. And have they just won themselves a penalty kick? They have indeed. Horse it was, has given away. It must have been a handball. Another player, actually, that I've got at Aston Villa on my uh, football manager save and uh, is that Timo Werner it is and that is an absolutely fantastic penalty there from Timo Werner to score his second goal of the game and is that his 20th Premier League goal of the season I can't remember how many scored from that first one uh, we'll look at this penalty top corner no keeper is stopping that one look at that absolutely superb penalty kick oh it's 17 so now that is his 18th Premier League goal of the season. Just two away before he hits the, the 20 goal target for him. And is he going to get another goal before the final whistle blows? We're into the final minute. And it is the latest one across. It was crossed in there, but Conser was there to get the ball away. And I think that's going to be the last action of the game. But as I promised, guys, we will have a quick look at the transfer window closing. So we do have deadline day, even though we just got absolutely destroyed there by Chelsea. GG to them. Nothing we could do. Uh, so here we go then. Transfer deadline day is upon us. Will Aston Villa be bringing anybody in at all? Will we spend in any cash? Let's have a look then. 600 million has been spent. Uh, Balagon, he's left uh, Arsenal. Arellano and Vieira have joined Aston Villa, but Traore has left. Uh, so let's just go through these. I'm not going to be um, stopping on any of these really, unless you want to just pause the video just to have a quick um, look. Oh, look at that. Camavinga. He's joined Crystal Palace. Big, big signing there for Palace. Surprising signing. Nevertheless, but we're going to leave it there, guys. I'll just scroll through the rest of the teams. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Leave a, a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Ready for the FIFA 22 content, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.